Onboarding starts the moment your client accepts the document. Collect information with forms, schedule calls, and accept payments in a smooth, tailored experience. To set up your onboarding flow, go to Settings, Admin, Onboarding. You may find you require different onboarding flows for different types of customers. If you're on our premium or enterprise plans, you can create as many onboarding flows as you need. To do this, just click the Create New Onboarding button in the top right of the onboarding setup. To edit your onboarding, on the right hand side, just click the Edit button and you'll be taken to an onboarding editor. It follows a similar flow to your documents with the sidebar on the left with your onboarding steps. By default, you'll have a thank you step and if you have any payment integration set up, there'll be an additional payment step added automatically. You can edit any step by hovering over the step in the sidebar, clicking the settings icon and editing the name in the right hand sidebar that appears and clicking save and preview. Adding additional steps works the same way you'd add additional sections in the template editor. Just click the plus icon in the left hand sidebar and you'll be presented with various step options including forms, content blocks, booking calendar, payments and redirect links. When choosing to add a form to your onboarding, you can create your own custom forms inside Settings, Admin, Forms. Or you can use one of our pre-built form templates. You can check out our help article on this for more details. Once you've added your form to your onboarding, you've got a few options available to you in terms of how that form functions inside your onboarding. Hover over the form step in the sidebar and click the settings icon. It will bring up a sidebar on the right which will allow you to set if the form should be filled out only once or per recipient. You also have the option to CC the form data so it's automatically emailed to whoever requires that additional information, with the added benefit of toggling the document link to be included if required. When adding a booking step, you'll need to make sure your Calendly integration is set up. This can be done in Settings, Integrations, Bookings. If the step is greyed out, you can always click the prompt that pops up and it'll take you straight to the integration page to get your Calendly integration set up. You can assign any onboarding to a template by opening the template editor, then clicking the settings icon in the top right and assigning the appropriate onboarding to your template. When you create a new document from that template going forwards, the correct onboarding will be already assigned for you.